Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's video, we are going to show you how to build this awesome little log cabin. <laughs> it's like a little log cabin in the woods. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's awesome. It would go great in your worlds. It would be really awesome as a, as a starter house or any, or something like that. So, But without further ado, we're just going to go get started. So let's go. Okay, guys, here we are in tutorial world, and we're going to get started. We've already laid it out on the ground here, so we kind of know what kind of space and stuff we need. So you're going to need a space that is at least 11 by 8 blocks. So 11 blocks deep by 8 blocks wide. Uh, we've got our little layout going on here on the ground. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to get started. And we're going to get started off with some stripped oak, uh, some stripped dark oak logs. So we're going to place one right here, and then we're going to skip a block, uh, five, five, a five block gap. So one, two, three, four five and then place our block here and then we're going to go back seven here so one two three four five six seven and then place one here on the eighth and then we're going to go over again on five and place one right here and so you're going to have your four pillars standing here and we're going to take each one of these up to their four tall so one that's two three and four two three and four two three and four two three and four so now what we're going to do we're going to fill this we're going to show you here on this side and then you guys can do it on your own we're going to fill these in completely with sideways logs all the way across to meet up with the other side just like this right here and what we're going to do is we're going to fill in all four sides just like that and we will be right back Okay, guys, and we're back. We've got all of our walls put in place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come right around here to the front. So this is going to be our front. Uh, we're going to come right around here to the front, and we're going to go right here to where these little bits are coming off the end. And we're going to go one up. So not the first one, but the second one. We're going to place a sticky, a little sticky outy bit there. And one there. We're going to skip a block in between each one. We're going to do the exact same thing here. One there, one there. And we're going to turn to the sides. Now on the sides, we're going to start on the bottom. So we're going to go here, and then right here just like that. And then come around to the back, back here. Do one there, one there. There, 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 and there, and there to finish that off. So we are going to get a little pattern that looks like this. I know it looks a little funky right now. We will take care of that here in just a moment. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to come in, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to start on our roof. So I want you to take your dark oak stairs, and we're going to come right along here, right to this outside part, and we're going to place a line all the way across, just like this, until we get to the very end, just like that. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. To come around over here and place your stairs just like this all the way down don't skip spots like i'm doing and to you're just like that there you go all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to come up and we are going to place ourselves a stair here and we're going to place ourselves a stair here now um what we're going to do is we're actually going to work on this center part here first so let's go ahead and let's take a dark oak log let's stick it right there we're going to break that out in a second let's come across right here just till you get to here and then stop uh, you can come back over and break this one out, put one here, same thing, one, two, three there. Break that one out, place one there, one there, and then you're good to go. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to come up on this triangle spot, and you're going to replicate this on the other side. So you're going to come up, you're going to do this, one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. And go ahead and replicate this on the other side, and then we'll catch back up. Okay, so now that we have that replicated on both sides, what we're going to do is we're actually going to come out, and we're going to remove the block right here, each one of these. On both, on both sides and you'll see why here in just a second I should have just had you do this to begin with and what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to extend these all the way across so our log cabin is a true log cabin it's built completely and totally out of logs um, we're, we'll fix this part with the roof but this is going to help you a lot as a guideline for the roof to get the roof done but yeah so we're going to go in we're going to fill these in we can get our fingers and our pickers to work at the like they're supposed to um, let's you move. Go just like that. All right, so now we're going to continue with the roof. So I want you to take your dark oak stairs, and I want you to just come right up like this on the outside part, like this. Do that on the front, and do this on the back also. This is our outline for our roof. And then while we have our dark oak stairs in our hand, we're going to come right here, and we're going to skip this one and this one. We're going to skip two and place one. We're going to come down here on this end. We're going to skip this one and this one and place a two-block gap, a three-block gap, and a two-block gap again. Take these all the way up like that, but like that. Take those up just like that. And let's go over here and repeat this on the other side so you can use the other side as a guideline if you need to. 
right there just like that there we go all right so let's go ahead and take our spruce stairs and we're going to fill in all the areas that we have not done yet so just like this right here real quick video today not very long at all we're hoping for about 10 to 12 minutes i think to be able to get that because we're actually almost done there you go all right so we've got our roof finished kind of actually almost so let's take our dark oak slabs now and come right across this top ridge of the roof right here just like this and then what we're going to do is we're going to come off by one and uh if you wanted to as well you could bring them it kind of looks funny so we want to um so now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to get our dark oak stairs again and we're going to come in here to where these little bits are that are popping out and we're going to place a stair there and a stair there a right side upstairs you're going to put one here here one on the bottom one here one on the bottom one right here one in the middle another one here and here now we're back at the front of our house again so we're going to break out two three blocks total for a door we're going to put an upside down stair in there we're going to block out two blocks there for a window you can come inside now if you want to and we're going to there two blocks there let's do there and there how about that and then over here where we've got the so we're using spruce for our floor and then we got cobblestone for our fireplace so what we're going to do is we're going to break out these three sets of blocks right here and this is going to be where our fireplace goes. So we can go ahead and actually work on our fireplace now. So we're going to take out these three roof pieces as well. And we're going to come in here with our stone. And we are going to place a couple of pieces of stone here and there. And we're going to mix it in with the cobblestone. Now, if you're interested in the texture pack, the texture pack is in the description down below. Uh, there's a link to it. And um, that's how you get the connected textures. I know we've had some questions in some of our other videos about how do we get the connected textures that they're cool. I would like to have them so that's uh the link to that's in the description down below so uh we're going to put a stair there this is kind of random you can kind of do it however you want to um there's no set way of doing this it's just kind of your taste uh so we're going to do that we're going to take our campfire and place right here on top we're going to come along the edge of that campfire and put trap doors in place close all those up to make our chimney and then we're going to come down here and, um, yeah, I mean, this, this house is pretty much just up. We need to finish up a little bit of stuff here on the fireplace. We're going to go up, go up by two here. Uh, we'll do one of those here, one of those here. If you do bring this extra block out, you're going to have to accommodate for one more spot um, on, your, on your house here. Um, but this is pretty much it. So you come in, you'll put some windows and some doors and stuff in. We'll go ahead and do some decoration here on the outside. We'll put some uh, trap doors and stuff up as shutters uh, next to these windows. And um, get this going up. And then I'll show you the mantle for the fireplace on the inside too, because some people may have questions about how I how I do the mantle. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, do that as well. Um, let's hop back in through here because we've got this. So let's go ahead and place our campfire down here. Um, we are going to actually place um, stone in right here beside it, and we're just going to take um, some dark oak slab and run it across just like that. It's a very simple little fireplace. There's nothing like too weird about it or nothing. You can even break these out if you wanted to. You could even replace it with stairs instead if you wanted kind of a um, indent look or whatever uh, that you may want there. You may like something like that better. But that's pretty much the fireplace. That's Pretty much how I've got it going on and, and what it all is and stuff and um sure that there we, we've got some buttons here as well um the buttons I had actually put up around the fireplace here um just to give it a little bit of, bit of extra something uh you can grab yourself a door uh glass of your choice of colors or whatever else uh, but this is pretty much the build so like I said this is gonna be a real quick video so we're gonna go over we're gonna take a look at the finished product and we'll be right back Okay, guys, and we're back here at our finished house. Um, so what we've done on the outside, we've just added very, very, very minimal stuff, really. We've added some chain with, uh, with, with the lantern. We've added some flower boxes and some, some weeping vines and stuff on the outside or, or bushes. Uh, we've done some little crop gardens here and there. But as far as, far as the build itself, we really haven't done a whole lot more to it. 
Uh, most everything else now has been done on the inside. This would be great for a little starter house or something in the world uh, for you to get started. You got you enough room in here that you got you a place to sleep. You got plenty of storage and stuff. Um, we did come in and do some stuff on the roof here to keep it, you know, from just being the plain beams or whatever. You could even do these all the way across if you wanted to, you know, you skip gaps and do them uh, like maybe some, something like that and just kind of just to make it a little more interesting or whatever. Um, but you got your plate, a great place for storage. I did inset a furnace into the, the chimney of the fireplace itself, uh, but you've got plenty of room for storage and stuff in here. Like I said, it makes a great starter house. So guys, that's going to just about do it for today's video. Um, if you like what you saw, give it a big thumbs up. Um, we got some more videos coming out soon. We've got, we've got, if you can, can kind of see over there, we've got a, we've got a ship coming actually and uh we actually have a castle tutorial that we're going to be starting on real soon too so we're that's going to be broken up into about four parts i think uh the ship we could probably get all in one but it's probably going to be a long tutorial and we've even got working cannons on that ship too so uh, i may do a separate tutorial itself just on the cannons but we've got a lot of stuff going on here uh don't forget if you are a a level two patreon you can get a downloaded copy of this world um yeah, so guys, thank you very much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.